is uh, John Harris Walk. I uh, studied, if you will, Kevin for about three years, and now I'm applying what I learned here to my neighborhood, the Fountain Square, to my community, uh, Appalachian, uh, working class, uh, and Caucasian community. My name is Brandon Cosby. I'm the executive director at Flatter House in Indianapolis. Uh, spent most of my life working in the field of education, uh, working directly with young people in one capacity or another. Uh, my argument is that the uh, gentrification was a strategy used by the top 5% in Marion County and Central Indiana. I'm going to say the one percent, I'll put it back up to the top 5%. <coughs> This is a strategy for them to maintain their wealth and power. Gentrification is a uniquely American problem because of it. Because the people who ran, the generation, the children of the two generations that ran from the city want the city back, period. They want it back. And the only way that you can stop them from getting it back is to own the property. Because absent, or at least decisively pull the levers of democracy and have responsive local representatives. After those two things, you're getting pushed out. Right to the right to the suburbs. We had a higher proportionate rate. I mean if you don't know Evansville, it's a very interesting place. So you just give you a little bit of history. So you have there are six, I think, high schools now, seven county you have seven, six public high schools and then you know, traditional public high schools and then you have three parochial high schools. Um, and then you have this charter school. Concentration of poverty. I haven't heard nobody up in Carmel talk about our neighborhoods being gentrified. And I have nobody in Zionsville say, our neighborhoods being gentrified. It's just so far. Down here, we talking about concentration of And I don't feel like I'm impoverished. I was impoverished when I was young. I didn't even know we were poor until TV came in 1955 to tell me that we were poor. So poverty is relevant. But one thing about a concentration, a disinvestment, no jobs, a, no way to support your family. Brandon, you're right. If you can't eat, if you're worried about the lights being cut off, don't have any water in the house, you got children you're trying to get ready for school, how, how are you going to worry about what's going on there and, yeah, and meet at the QOL to make sure that they got economic opportunity in, in this doggone proposal they got on the table to build something. Okay. You still don't know how to talk. And then when you do learn all the things, guess what? You're still underpaid. You're still the last hired. Power is controlled by a handful of folks, and most of them don't look like you. They look like cuz over there. Hey. John. <laughs> so we have to come out here to tell the truth. <laughs> We have to tell the truth. And when there are folks that are coming in our community that tell us something else, that tell us it's got to be this way, you know what you tell them? You need to step off. Okay. Get out of the way. If you're not going to represent your community, get out of our way. And don't tell us we got to wait till tomorrow. We've been waiting too long. Wait too long. We're not going to get another degree. And we all, most of the people in the room got degrees, what they do for us. You still want to talk to master when it's done. Guys don't call you and tell you what to do next. You step out of line, guess what happens? They pull the purse strings on you. The money disappears, your job disappears, your promotion disappears. Then you got to have the courage. You got to have courage. Take all of it. Take the cars, take the house, take all of it. You, can, you, you, can't, you need leadership that ain't bold. So where is it? And then teach your children that. And how do you teach your children that? Through your walk. Through your walk. I learned this from my mother, who don't even have a high school diploma, a quiet warrior. You take no stuff. That's how you teach your children. Ain't, a, ain't enough in here. You can't buy me. You ain't got enough money. I'll walk around naked and broke before you buy me. And if you want to own your communities, then that's what you got to step to.